So here she is. She's walking through the motor home. And I noticed uh, water's leaking in this one. You can actually see it back there dripping off the water pump. So he's going to get a tech right now. It'd be kind of cool if they had to upgrade me to a bigger one. <laughs> they might have to switch me if they can't fix it. Saturday night at 1030. Just got to our last campsite and wanted to check because earlier I called them because gray water was showing two thirds and we barely used it, which was weird. And shows so was the black water. Now look. So now the black is still showing two thirds. The gray is showing completely empty. I don't know what's going on with this thing. I'll show you. Look how fucked up that washer is. The guy told me on the phone to take this off and I could do something on the back, but that washer is clearly it just needs to be replaced. And the shower does not seal. So it's always wet in the floor down there. Nice quality. This thing's been screwed in quite a few different times. And uh, a bunch of wind comes through this and it rattles a lot. You can see how bowed it is when you're driving. It's really loud. Cold air comes in through the side there too. All right, before I return this thing, I figured I'd give a real honest review for anyone that's never rented a motorhome before and they're thinking about renting this 26 footer. All right, so starting with the drive. Seats are okay. Uh, I drove for about seven, eight hours, wasn't too bad. Uh, they got two cigarette lighters. There's an aux plug-in. There's no Bluetooth at all on this thing. And one thing to keep in mind is it's extremely dark up front when you drive this thing. Um, there's this light. But under here, there's no cab lights at all. Nothing. So at night, you can't see any of this stuff. You can't see what's in the cup holders, what you put down in there. Even the switches are real hard. So keep in mind that. The seat right here, it's kind of a pointless seat. It, I don't know if you can tell, but it's angled down in the front. So when you sit in there, you're angled forward. So it's really good for putting shoes on, but it's extremely uncomfortable to sit on. So I wouldn't recommend sitting on that for any long period of time. Uh, the little dinette table works out pretty cool. We folded it down for a bed. We slept on it, let the dog sleep there. Uh, that little storage thing for the pole, for that pole, sometimes does not work. Nothing slid out and almost nailed my wife in the ankle. So probably didn't put it in there. The stove, everything works pretty good in this kitchen, to be honest. The only complaint I have is this thing is does not have any jacks, so you have to park it really, really level. Otherwise, these are pretty slick, and the pans we we're using just kept sliding forward. So cooking eggs or anything that's liquidy is, is kind of a challenge unless you're parked totally flat. Uh, you get storage in the top. Those bottoms are access to the water pump. A little storage there. This bed is actually pretty comfy. I was surprised. So I had no complaints on this thing. Uh, fridge is kind of on the small side. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is the heater is right there. I don't know why they designed it this way. So everything on the bottom does not get very cold. We had some cottage cheese in there, brand new. By the time I opened it a couple days later, uh, we threw it away. It wasn't really good still. Uh, freezer is kind of a small one too. We got storage here for jackets, clothes. A little bit of storage under here. This shower is all right. Uh, the toilet's kind of weird. You notice it's on a big pedestal. So I'm six foot and my feet kind of hang off the edge. So I kind of put my feet on the side and sat sideways on this thing. The other thing is this shower is real short. I'm six foot. I have to bend my knees just to sit in here. There's this <laughs> sunroof that you can put your head inside of, but it doesn't really line up with the shower. So you have to kind of 
duck down and then duck back up and it's not straight too so you have to angle your head oh yeah this thing's extremely noisy when you drive it everything rattles everything bounces makes some pretty terrible noises you just get used to it after a while but the transmission on this thing i don't know if they're all like this but this thing was whining and making all kinds of weird noises so there's my quick review of the Cruise America 26 foot motorhome for anyone that's never rented one before. Um, the price pretty much comes out to about the same as a hotel room. It's about 80 bucks a night, except for you got a kitchen um, and a little fridge, which is awesome. Uh, the bed is pretty damn comfy. Uh, the shower is small and awkward, but it works. Um, gas is about 10 to 12 miles per gallon. It's pretty bad because it's a V10, but it's got a 35 gallon tank. So you can get pretty far on a full tank on that thing. So it's pretty cool. Overall, I would definitely do it again. Um, just going into it, you just got to expect it's not going to be a brand new perfect motorhome. It makes a lot of noises. It creaks, it cracks. The transmission makes noises. Uh, everything is noisy about the thing. A lot of parts are loose, but again, overall, I would definitely do it again for the price.